This week is Severe Weather Awareness Week here in the state of Florida. Each day this week, the National Weather Service is focusing on a specific common weather event, highlighting the hazards and the statistics involved. As News 13's Bailey Nichols tells us, the main goal is to help you prepare for any scenario. Florida is home to all types of severe weather events. From February 5th through the 9th, emergency officials are hoping to highlight some of the conditions that can be the most dangerous. It just brings awareness to the public of these are the, the environmental uh, factors that we're going to see in the next few months, um, and we want to bring awareness to it and how to keep yourself safe. Monday, emergency managers are focusing on the dangers of lightning. Florida is called the lightning capital of the world, ranking number one for lightning strikes per square mile. Get indoors, don't go under trees, don't go near any tall structures, get inside, protect yourself. And if you happen to be in your car, stay in your car. Tuesday's featured danger is marine hazards. With the number of deaths last year blamed on rip currents, it's important to understand them. Adhere to our flags. If you see double red flag, do not go in the water. That means that there's rip currents there um, and we want to keep you safe. If you do find yourself in a rip current, swim parallel with the shore. Wednesday, severe weather events, thunderstorms and tornadoes. Experts warn people to stay indoors for thunderstorms. During tornadoes, listen to all warnings and seek shelter in a secure part of your home. Somewhere where you have protection. Thursday's focus is on hurricanes and flooding. We're in Florida. We're the mecca of hurricanes. The best way to prepare is to secure your home and then evacuate to a safer place. Friday wraps up with wildfires and extreme temperatures. You want to have clear out any brush um, and trees or you know, out to 30 feet from your home. Make sure that you don't have anything that's right by your home that's flammable. Also keep your disaster kit updated with food and water, flashlights, batteries, gasoline, cash, and more. Preparing is the number one thing to do. Don't wait till the last minute. Don't wait till it's already hit because it's way too late. People will come in here and clean us out quickly if they know it's going to be truly severe. So come in early, get what you need, and then protect your family. In Bay County, Bailey Nichols, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The Bay County Emergency Operations Center has a free guide for handling disasters. You can find a link to it on our website, mypanhandle.com.